arm again. And as promised, we're back to show you how to make bone broth using our chicken feet. And I've got Joe here to help me today. And I know that um, using chicken feet might make you feel a little squeamish, but think about this. There's so much connective tissue and good collagen in these feet and lots and lots of minerals that you don't get from the meat of the animal, just all contained in the chicken feet. And that is why I'm a proponent of using chicken feet to make chicken bone broth. And this will give you a lot more gelatinous broth than just using the bones. So a lot of times we'll use chicken feet and our chicken bones together, but today we're just gonna show you how to use chicken feet. So our chicken feet uh, usually come, we usually trim the nails off. We try to get as much skin off as possible. You can see that uh, half of it's white and half of it's yellow. The yellow is the actual skin on the feet that we don't want to have in our bone broth. So the first step of making our bone broth is to finish getting the chicken skin off the feet. It's a little hard um, if you don't do this right. So what we're gonna do is show you an easy step to get this chicken skin, uh, the remaining chicken skin off of the feet. We're going to put all of our chicken feet into a bowl and then we're going to pour hot water over them and let them sit for five minutes. So Joe, I'm going to let you put all these chicken feet in the bowl for me. going to pour enough hot water over our chicken feet so that they're covered. Right, we've got our chicken feet covered in hot water and we're going to let them sit for five minutes and then they'll be ready to peel. We'll be right back. All right, our chicken feet have been soaking in hot water for five minutes and they're ready to get the rest of the skin peeled off. So if you can stand it, you can reach in and pull these out not too hot. If it's too hot for you, just dump the hot water out and put some cold water in. But it doesn't feel that hot for me, so I think we'll be alright. How about you? you want to try it? Alright with that? Okay, so we're going to begin peeling the skin off of our feet. We're going to finish this up, and um, as you can see, it comes off a lot easier now. You can just basically peel it off like you're taking off a glove or a sock. One thing about the chicken feet is you want to get chicken feet from a chicken who has been raised on pasture and preferably fed non-GMO grain so that you don't get um, toxins from pesticides um, in with your broth. So you don't want that concentrated uh, toxins in there with your broth. Um, so it's very important to get chickens that have been raised in a healthy environment uh, to get the best benefits from your broth. So you can put them back in there once you do that. Make sure you get all of the, the yellow as much as possible off. That looks really good, Joe. You can kind of pinch the, the skin and then just peel it off. If you don't get every bit of yellow off, that's okay, but we wanna, our goal is to make, get as much off as possible. Our chicken feet all peeled and they are basically just nice and clean and white and they're ready for our next st step of making bone broth. So the next step is we're going to put them into a slow cooker or an instant pot so that they will be able to, um, to cook and that the minerals and um, collagen that's in them will be able to um, infuse into the water which is what you want and that's what makes the broth. So we're going to um, put this in the stock pot and come in there, Jill. All right. And then into the stock pot first, we're going to add some apple cider vinegar. In this case, we're going to add about a fourth of a cup. Apple cider vinegar does help to draw the minerals out of the bones. 
so it gives you more nutrition in your broth. And then we're also going to put in some filtered water. Um, we use well water, um, so it doesn't have all the city chemicals in it. Um, so we're gonna use our well water. If you live in the city, you wanna use filtered water. So go ahead and pour that in, and we're just gonna cover them. Just enough water to cover all of the That's good. So we're gonna make sure all of the feet are sitting under the water. And we're gonna put this into our Instant Pot. And we're gonna let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour, just to let that soak so that the apple cider vinegar can kind of start taking effect. So we'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, our chicken feet have been soaking in the apple cider vinegar water mixture for about an hour now. And we are ready to start cooking our broth. So if you're using a slow cooker, you're going to set it to low and you're going to cook your chicken feet for at least 24 hours, if not 36. So anywhere between 24 and 36 hours in a slow cooker. Then if you're using an instant pot, it takes about four hours of cooking time and then an hour to cool off and your broth will be done in five hours total. So with an instant pot, all we have to do, I've got the lid closed, you select the soup broth setting on your Instant Pot and it'll go for four hours and cool off for an hour and then your broth will be done. We'll be there um, to show you what to do on the next step. All right, our broth is now done and it's ready to take out of our pot and to transfer to our jar. So we're gonna pull this out and we've got our broth in here and what we're gonna need for this step is a strainer and a canning funnel. We're gonna put that in our jar and slip the strainer in our funnel and then a ladle to ladle out the, the broth. So I'm gonna have Joe do that for us. So we're going to basically pour the broth through the strainer into our jar. And just be careful because it's gonna be hot. Now that our broth is in the jar, I'm gonna show you, I wanna show you what's left over. Joe, can you go ahead and dump the chicken feet out? All right. So just as with our chicken bones that we used to make bone broth in our last video, I wanna show you that these bones are just um, very spongy. And so you basically can squeeze them and they'll crumble. So. Just as we do with the other bones, we like to use these as a dog treat. Our dogs love these um, and they're pretty good for them too. So we, we save those so that way we're not wasting anything. All right, so we've got our broth in our jar and we're just going to put a lid on our jar and we're gonna let it come to room temperature just sitting on the counter. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to put it in the refrigerator to chill it. After we chill it, you'll be able to see that the fat has risen to the top so that you can skim it off if you desire. And I'll show you how nice and gelatinous the broth will be. Okay, after about four hours or overnight chilling in the refrigerator, I'm gonna show you what our broth looks like. Now at the very top, there's a layer of fat that's floating at the top of the jar. And I'm going to spoon some of this out just with our spoon. And then we'll show you what's underneath the fat. You can keep the fat in the broth if you'd like and it'll make really good gravy. Otherwise, uh, you can discard it. So right under our layer of fat, we have a nice jello-like broth. So I'm gonna let Joe spoon some of that out into a cup. We'll put the cup up here so we don't have to go very far. And then we'll show it to you. All right, Joe, that's good, thank you. All right, so now you can see that it's definitely not liquid. It's nice and gelatinous, which means it has a lot of collagen. It has a lot of minerals in it, so that's gonna be really healthy stuff for you. You're gonna to want to probably season this with a little bit of salt. You can also add vegetables to this when you're cooking it in the first place. I like to fix it just with the plain, um, just plain chicken broth. Um, and add the vegetables later when we do soup or whatever. Um, you can drink this uh, before a meal, about 30 minutes before your meal. 
It's great for your digestive health, it's great for your joint health, and your overall um, immune health. So we really encourage you to try this out um, and um, just give it a try. And thanks for joining us today at Peak View Farm. This is going to basically 